My name is Beatriz Zuluaga. I am a pre-K teacher at Frank Guzik Elementary School. Hi, uh, my name is Eliana Tse. I am STEM teacher, uh, coordinator and robotics coach at Robert T. Hill Middle School in Dallas ISD. I'm an innovator in the sense that I like to extend the learning and bring other resources to my classroom. I like to, to learn as much as I can so my students can learn from me. The critical thinking that they can get with STEM activities is amazing and, and I think uh, their, their brain expands and they are able to explain their process and what went right or what went wrong and what they need to change. I think it's very, very exciting how the kids are able to problem solve when they are doing STEM activities. I'm passionate, energetic, I'm very enthusiastic as a person. Uh, I like to participate in PDs, professional developments, because uh, that's when you meet other teachers and, and we can build networks and also resources to exchange best teaching practices. So to me, participating in professional development and conferences and summits and all those events, to me, they, are, they function as my brain food, the teacher brain food, yes. I really like the project because of all the people that that um, actually participated in it, and it, it wanted me. It made me want to do more things in life that I can actually have fun with. During robotics, you meet new people, and you learn how to problem solve with others. And using teamwork, you can make it anywhere. So learn that I had a lot of leadership skills, surprisingly, because I'm I was a team captain, so I had a lot. I had to kind of keep the team together. When I was a kid, um, my dad showed me um, video games. I wanted to build um, computers. The Lego project helped me follow instructions on how to build a computer. She pushed us to do our work and do our best in every class so that we could be successful in not just robotics but all of our classes and all the things that we decided to want to do. And she just helped us a lot this year and helped us stay motivated for this year. She's definitely helped me and most other people unlock all, all our potential and she's pushed us to be our best selves so that we can be successful. One of the things that I struggle a lot uh, with my English learners is because you cannot find a lot of books or materials in, in, in Spanish. And, and the, the, sometimes it's hard for teachers because we really see some, some good activities or materials in English and we don't see the same thing in Spanish. So I think if we can get more resources or people working, because I know probably are researchers or people that want to write or create activities but they don't have the funds or they don't have the, the support or sponsors that they do that, I think will be great because Dallas ISD, most of the population are Spanish speakers and I think even, I mean this is the biggest district, uh, bilingual district I think in the United States, well at least the first or second. So I think we have the population and, and I wish we had more, more activities and more materials focusing bilingual students. If I could, if I had the funds, I would like to take my students to the CDC one day.